Hello, vlog camera. Haven't seen you in a while. It is Tuesday and I'm about to eat some food. Very hungry. Haven't eaten yet. Feel kind of crazy. This week is studio week and I haven't really... Food. Food! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I made this yesterday. Salmon with rice and broccoli. Gonna put some lemon on this. Gotta love a lemon. I love lemon so much, I'll put it on anything. Put it in my eyeballs. So, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by some salmon. This week is studio week. I've been kind of keeping a lot of this like music stuff secrety secrety from you guys because music takes a really long time to make and I didn't like want to get your guys' hopes up and like get y'all excited for the music way too far before the music was even going to come out. But by the time you're watching this, the music is probably going to be coming out kind of soonish. And so I thought I'd finally like give you a little sneak peek into what I've been doing with my life. I haven't been vlogging because a lot of the stuff that I do is like stuff that I can't show you guys. But I thought I'd bring you guys along for a studio week just so that you guys could like see what I've been doing. This week is basically... The I can't even talk. This week is basically the week that we're gonna wrap up the whole entire EP, which is insane because we've been working on it for like months and months and months now, and then like we're finally in the final stages. I can't even believe that I'm making an EP. So like the words that I'm speaking out of my mouth don't sound like they're real. So, so if I sound weird, it's because I just like can't even imagine this music being out. It's just conceptually so strange to me because I wrote this music like by myself like almost a year ago now, and like it's finally about to come out and I feel crazy, like it feels crazy and it feels like it's not real, I feel like everyone's lying to me. I'm in the studio every single day this week for like nine hours each day so we have a lot of studio time and a lot of stuff that I can't show you but I, I figured the music's coming out soon and I don't want to just like keep y'all in the dark. I want you guys to know what I'm doing, I, I don't like keeping secrets from you guys so I just wanted to kind of like give y'all a little sneak peek so obviously like can't show you guys the music but I can show you guys what it's like when I go to the studio. I also have a couple big meetings this week. All the like music stuff that I do, I like don't like to talk about it because I feel like if I'd like shown you guys everything all at once, like it would have just been overwhelming and then you guys would have been excited for the music and then I would have had to be like, sorry, the music's not coming out for like six months. But it's coming soon and um, I need to eat before I go to the studio because I usually don't eat in the studio. I went for a run this morning. I ran 3.4 miles, which is a lot for me. So I'm kind of in this like weird dazed mental state <laughs> and I'm gonna head out right after I eat and uh, go record some songs crazy I feel crazy guys we're really in the home stretch of this music coming out and um, it's like everyone's just working like double overtime I work from like 6 in the morning to like 12 o'clock at night all day long but it's really fun work that I love but like we're all a little bit crazy so if this whole vlog you're like wow Conan seems kind of weird it's cuz I am weird I'm in such a weird mental state this past month just cuz it's been like just work and like music and music and music and music just, like, I'm drowning but it's okay I just need to eat my salmon and make some music I'll see you later bye
so sleepy. I'm home. It was a long day in the studio, but we got a lot done. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Did so much. Now I feel like I'm a, like I'm an inanimate object. <laughs> I feel like a piece of jello, and my brain feels like pudding, but my morale is like gold. I'm so happy with how the music sounds. I really think we'll be able to finish it this week, which I'm really stoked about because we've been working on it for months and it's like almost there. It's like so close. It's so weird like showing you guys the music and like showing you guys the process and like I think there's just this weird part of me that doesn't want to show you guys because once I show you like me in the studio and once I show you like me taking meetings and doing all these things, it like finally makes it real. Part of me just wants it to never be real and never have to actually face the fact that like I'm making music and like this is what I'm doing with my life. I just wish I could just stay in like my little wistful dream that nothing is gonna happen out of this and I'm just gonna be a normal college student and all these things are all just gonna be normal and I'm just normal and nothing's gonna change but that's not true. Things are changing and my life is changing a lot right now and there's just this piece of me that's like if I never show anyone then it'll never be real and I can just live in my little fantasy. I get a lot of comments and messages that are always like please don't quit YouTube after you make your music and please don't leave and I really have no intentions of doing that whatsoever. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. My life really is changing very very fast right now. It's very hard for me to keep up with it and it's just been this crazy crazy past three months of my life that have just been like whisking me by. But there's nowhere in my agenda <laughs> that is quitting YouTube. That's just not on my agenda. My life is changing, but I fully plan on bringing y'all along. Just like I've brought you along for every other change in my life. I brought you along when I moved from my small town in the middle of Texas to LA. And I'm bringing you guys along as I start to put out this music. I've decided it's finally time for me to just face my fears and face the fact that like my life is changing. I can't just keep up this facade that everything is just exactly the same as it was when I first moved into this little apartment. My life is changing. And that is the truth <laughs> and it's really crazy it's a really crazy truth it's weird how much things have changed yet how much things have stayed just exactly the same life is funny like that you think that it's so different but then there's just little moments where you're like wow nothing has changed at all and despite the fact that my life has been changing like a whirlwind around me the past year I've somehow managed to stay exactly the same I'm just exactly the same and I don't even know how it happened part of me wishes Wishes I was like super different, but I'm just like this same little like <laughs> little mushroom head. <laughs> I'm just really excited for everything, and uh, I'm also really tired. And I think that I'm saying nonsense right now. I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna go to bed and um, have a meeting tomorrow, so I have to get a good night of rest. Good night. Yay! I don't even know if anything I was saying last night was coherent. I'm pretty sure I was sleep talking that whole entire clip. This morning I woke up and went grocery shopping because I was all out of fruits and veggies. This summer has been super weird because it's the first summer that I'm completely alone. Like none of my friends are here because they're all back home. And also it's like the first summer that isn't really summer. Like it's not summer vacation. I'm like doing more things now than I've ever done in my whole entire life. And it's like the busiest season of my whole entire life. It's just very weird. I feel... Mm -hmm. I have some meetings this morning and need to get ready, but it feels really weird to like tell y'all that I have some meetings this morning because it's just so boring and I don't know why I would tell you that I'm going to meetings, but I have a meeting this morning like I do most mornings. I'm trying to show you guys more of what my life is actually like and this summer it's just been a lot of meetings and planning and making music and no friends. My friends will be back, but they ain't here right now. <laughs> I can't wait to finish the EB. That would be the best feeling in the whole entire world. That would be such a weight off my shoulders. Garbage truck outside my window. Anyways, good morning. Pineapples are in season.
I'm all ready for my meeting. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this light blue bowler shirt that I just got and my saddle shoes with some high socks and my black shorts. I always try to dress like a little bit nicer when I'm going to meetings or where I'm gonna be meeting people for the first time because first impressions are important and that's something you should know whenever you enter the workplace. I'm gonna go and meet my managers and um, go to some meetings. Good morning. I look crazy. Oh. <laughs> I can't find a spot. Okay. Good morning. Right now, I am on my way to the train station to go down to San Diego to see my mom and my sister. And also see Summer and just get out of LA because I get really sick of it pretty fast. I'm just gonna go for a day because I have a lot of stuff to do in LA, but let's go. Bye, room. Thank you so much. Tonsils are so swollen. 
Rock on, dude. I have a really bad fever, and this always happens. The second I am like, ah, time to relax. My body's like, yay, relaxing. And then my immune system just like plummets and I get sick every time, which is why I should never stop working. I'll never get sick. That is not sound logic. I feel like a balloon. <laughs> my face is so red. I look pretty. Bye. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 coffee always makes me sneeze is that normal coffee and dark chocolate always makes me sneeze this mug is adorable it looks like a science beaker it's the cutest thing ever fun fact growing up i wanted to be a biology teacher not a singer <laughs> Being a singer was not in my sights. I very much just wanted to be a biologist. But you know, singing just kind of took over. And here we are. As you can tell from this vlog, my days have been pretty repetitive lately. It's like, wake up, meeting, studio, go to sleep. Wake up, meeting, studio, go to sleep. It's basically what I do every day. This summer has just been a lot of work, but it's like fun work, so I'm okay with it. But like, it definitely is a lot of work. And every single day, I'm just like totally pooped by the end of the day. Today, I'm going into the studio with my managers. I'm going to show them all the music because it's almost done and they're gonna like listen to like the almost final drafts and we're gonna like go over what sounds good what doesn't sound good then the music is going to be played for lots of other people and we're gonna get feedback it's sounding real good though so they better tell me that it's perfect just kidding i really want their feedback constructive criticism is always good but the music is sounding really really good and it's freaking me out because when i listen to it i'm like that's me <laughs> and i'm singing that and i wrote these songs by myself and now they're gonna be played for lots of people and i'm going to sing them on stages and it's just so crazy what the heck oh my god Ugh. what have i gotten myself into the music is sounding really good i can't wait for you guys to hear it by the time you're watching this vlog, that means that the music's gonna be here pretty soon. <laughs> That's all I can feel. That's all I know. I just can't believe that this is real. This is not real life. The simulation is glitching. This is not real. What is happening? What is my life? I don't get it. Why do people listen to my music? It's so stupid. Um, I just... Uh, ah! Fun. I was about to curse, but not in my Christian family. A little piece of plant just fell out of my hair. <laughs> Who knows how long that was there. I don't have anything to say other than... <laughs> and also thank you, because uh, I would not be in the studio making this music if y'all didn't listen to the music before that I wrote when I didn't have studio hours, and when I didn't have my own apartment, and when I was just this normal high schooler. I, like, wouldn't be here, and that's just just a fact like that's not a, that's not me like trying to express my gratitude like that's just a fact i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys like that's just the truth like i wouldn't be here so just thank you this is my gratitude thank you for being there because this is what i wanted to do with my life and being able to like make music for other people and and make music that people are going to listen to is 
such a privilege and I feel very full right now. My heart is just so full and my life is so full and I feel happier than I ever have in my whole entire life. And I can say that very solidly. My whole life I've had a lot of me just kind of trying to stay afloat and for the first time in my life I don't have to worry about a lot of things that I had to worry about growing up like my family and money and for the first time in my life I am safe and it's a really weird feeling to me. I still feel like this restlessness, like, oh my gosh, come on, you better work, you better work. But like, everything is okay, and I'm working like a crazy madman, but it's because I want to, and I can't wait for you guys to listen to this music, and I hope that you guys like it, and I hope that it exceeds your expectations, and um, I can't wait to start going on tour, and start playing shows, and it's been in the works for so long, and I'm so sorry, and I know y'all have been yelling at me for like, Months and months and months and months and months and months and months. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting for so long, but I just didn't want to put something out that I didn't like 100% believe in, and, and I didn't want to put out something that was crappy just because I wanted to just shove something out there and make a quick buck. Like, I'm just not in this for a quick buck. <laughs> I'm in this for the long haul, and I wanted to make something really good. I don't think I could live with myself if I didn't put something out that I, like, a hundred million trillion percent believed in. <laughs> so thank you for listening and for caring. It's crazy because it's really strange how the world works, how everything plays out, I guess. I put out Idle Town at a really, really tough part of my life that I don't talk about on the internet. It was a really terrible time of my life where I didn't have a home and I didn't have a family and I didn't have anything. All I really had was my friends and my YouTube channel that was kind of just keeping me alive. I released Idle Town kind of at this very pivotal point in my life where I'd basically just given up on everything else. Idle Town to me was like almost a goodbye to everything that I knew and everything that I loved. At the time that I released Idle Town, I'd just gotten kicked out of my house and I was living with friends and life was really tough and I, I did a really good job at keeping my smile on and at um, keeping a brave face because I really want my channel and I really want my influence and impact on the world to be a happy one. When people think of me, I want people to to smile. I don't want people to cry and, and I don't want people to feel bad for me. Like, I don't really want sympathy. <laughs> and I'd released Idle Town, like, very much on a last whim. I was just at a point where I'd basically just given up on everything and I didn't have any where to go and it was just like a really hard time um and um and then it just took off and i was so surprised and all my friends were really good friends and they were letting me stay with them and we were all just so like relieved because everyone kind of knew that like i was gonna be okay and that and idle town very much was my love letter to my friends and to my town and it's also the song that took me out of my town and, and gave me a place to stay and gave me a roof over my head and, and and it brought me everything that I can live so comfortably in now so when I say that like you guys saved me it's just like the honest truth if that song hadn't taken off and if y'all hadn't been watching my videos I really don't know what I would have done and, and where I would have been and I was really on the brink of, of falling and uh, y'all really caught me, so thank you for everything, and I can't say it enough because y'all don't really realize like how much you really changed my life. Um, and I keep on starting to cry <laughs> um, because like uh, it was just really hard, and y'all and everyone in my life just caught me right there. They were just right there waiting for me. So uh, thank you for listening to everything and for 
giving a shit about the stuff that I make and I can't wait for you guys to listen to the new music and it's music that I wrote in my bedroom <laughs> and uh, it somehow has caught the attention of so many people and it still blows my mind to this day. This new music is a trillion percent me and it's it's just on this bigger scale now that, that confuses me and it's this new side of my life that I still very much don't understand but I'm learning and I'm growing and um, I fully plan on bringing you guys with me every single step of the way. I just don't see myself ever stopping talking to you guys. I don't want to drift away. I want to just be here and I want y'all to know me and I don't want y'all to forget where I'm from and, and what I've always been just because music is going to become this bigger thing. Um, please don't worry. Nothing is going to change. and. Uh, I am incapable of changing. I've just been stagnant for years. I have to go to the studio and I have to go play my music for some very important people. And uh, when you're watching this, that means that the music is coming soon. And this is probably the last time you're going to see me before the new music comes out. I'm going to take a little, a little step back for just a bit. Keep y'all on your toes a bit <laughs> for a second and make y'all wait. I'm sorry, there's been a lot of waiting, but I'm gonna make y'all wait for a little bit. <laughs> and then um, you guys are going to literally be like a hit with <laughs> the largest wave of content <laughs> you've ever seen in your whole life. Uh, you guys are gonna be like, really? This dude again? <laughs> but I'm gonna take a step back for a second and um, I'll see y'all once the freaking music comes out. I'm so excited. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Ah, frickle frackle. I am so, so emotional right now. Yeah, I have, I'm just like on the verge of tears. Stop, Conan, stop. I really hope you like the music. I really do. My fingers are crossed. I really hope you like the music. And uh, see y'all in a bit, in a hot sec. During my step back, I will not be stepping back from social media, so if you miss me find me on instagram or twitter i'm usually posting bullshit on there <laughs> but i will be back on this youtube channel in a second one second and i am so scared to say goodbye because like and uh i'll see you in a couple weeks with a brand new very important video <laughs> very <laughs> important video that i worked my butt off on and um god bless and goodbye bye <laughs> Bye.